This right here is an $8,000 computer, but can it run Minecraft? Yes, it can, but that's not why I purchased this computer. We are in fact on a very tight deadline to make a 3D simulation render, and that's why we've got two times an RTX 3090 graphics card in sight. And this is obviously the biggest cost of the computer, the rest of the components are still higher end but much more common. Now these graphics cards are not easy to get, I emailed about 6 computer stores and only 2 of them were able to sell me these cards. The others either didn't have them in stock or they weren't allowed to sell me 2 cards cards, as there's a one card per client policy, because the 3000 series are in such high demand. And those who had an RTX 3090 in stock only had one or two brands available, so I didn't have much choice and had to go with whatever they got. But that's fine, I'm really happy that we got an assembled system in just a few days. Now normally I make these computer build videos every year, where I talk about the components which are the best for video editing. I decided not to do that anymore, because there's an organization that does lab tests with different hardwares like the GPU, processors, etc. And they compare different components in real situations, like playback in Premiere Pro or rendering in After Effects. And they also have a bunch of articles about how different softwares utilize hardware and what to pay attention to. I'll leave a link to Puget Systems in the description down below. They're not sponsoring us by the way, they don't even know that we're making this video. I just really want to get the word out. Because if you are looking to buy a new computer for creative tasks, then you can find everything you need on their website. You can choose to order through them or take the list of hardware that they recommend to your local computer shop. Now one of the lab tests that they did was Redshift Renders, the software that we use. And very interesting was that the RTX 3090 scales by a 100% performance increase if you have two of them installed. Now this is not a computer that you just buy for fun, I mean, we work with 5 people here at Cinecom, almost always on multiple projects at the same time, so this new computer is part of our team workflow. And recently I came across a very interesting class on Skillshare, which is about productivity for creatives by Thomas Frank. Now this was a very interesting class, and surprisingly I learned more than I thought I would. He talks about three pillars, the mindset, environment, and the people that you work with. Definitely a class that I can recommend to those who work as a full-time creative. Now apart from this class, Skillshare offers tens of thousands of more classes, the online learning community keeps expanding every day, which I'm also part of. Last week I actually recorded a brand new Adobe After Effects class, it's probably gonna come out in a week or two, until then you can already check out the other classes that I host, like Advanced Video Editing and Adobe Premiere Pro. And you know, it really feels good to see my community be so excited about the new things that they learned. Skillshare is specifically curated for learning, there are no ads, and it only costs less than $10 per month, which kind of works like Netflix. Now the first 1000 to click the first link in the description down below will get a free trial of premium membership, and I hope to see you there as well. The whole reason we got this computer is for a 5 day deal that is coming real soon so get ready for that. In this bundle we're planning to include a brand new VFX pack which we are working on right now. In this pack we'll have 20 different explosions from 18 different angles which you can orientate in After Effects. Cool right? We are creating these explosions right in Cinema 4D with X-Particles, a powerful particle plugin which helps you to create fluids, explosions, smokes and many other things. The guys over at Incinium are even cool enough to send us some licenses for this project. I'll leave a link to them in the description down below. But the cool features from this pack add up to an insane amount of render time, bringing us to why we bought this computer. In Cinema 4D we use Redshift. This is a GPU based render engine, which is faster than a CPU based render engine. The average CPU has around 8 to 12 cores that are good at doing things one at a time. GPUs have smaller but way more cores than the CPU, making it faster to perform multiple tasks at the same time. Now I want to show you the speed of this machine, but that's quite difficult because you can't really compare it since every project is different. So the best way for me to showcase this to you is Octane Bench. This program allows you to benchmark your GPU rendering, making it as fair as possible to compare different workstations. On my computer here at the office, I have an RTX 2080 Ti, which gave me a benchmark result of 348. Doing the same test to the render computer gave me a benchmark result of 1028, which is already a significant difference, 
but still this doesn't illustrate the real speed of this machine. Oh yeah guys, do the benchmark yourselves and let me know your score in the comments down below. Now, I also did a comparison with an explosion render on both computers. On my normal office computer I rendered 600 frames at 4K with an average of 25 seconds per frame. The same project I ran on the render PC, which resulted in an average of 17 seconds. That is an 8 second difference. This may not look like a lot, but if you calculate that one explosion has 2400 frames times 18 for every camera angle that we need, it takes 300 hours for my computer versus 204 on the render PC. That's roughly gonna be 80 days faster for 20 explosions. And that is a big difference. And to increase the speed over the weekends, we also set up a team render so all the Cinecom computers can render at the same time together in harmony. Now besides an increase of render speeds like Lorenzo just showed you guys, we will also improve our workflow here at the office. With an extra PC solely for rendering, we can keep on working on our own computer. In other words, we have a better time management for our projects. A good example for this is the creation of explosions with X particles. The first step is creating the explosions of course, but once we are done with creating that, we have to render them. And of course, this is very time consuming and will leave our PC unusable. So it's a perfect job for the render PC, giving us the freedom to keep on working while rendering. In the description, you will find a link to our website where you can find all the hardware components if you're interested. Maybe I should take the panel off first. This is better, a lot safer. Now you might be wondering, Jordi, why are you drilling a hole in your brand new computer? Well, that's because even though we are going to remotely control the computer, Cinema 4D actually doesn't work when there is no monitor connected to the computer. So that is why I have drilled these holes to attach this very small 5-inch display to the side. And there we go. And I think that I've just invented something new, guys. A computer with an onboard display. Or laptops. So this right here is the maintenance room, which is going to be the perfect place in the office to place the render PC because it's very cool in here. This thing is much heavier than I thought it would be. I hope it's steady enough that it won't fall. It's okay. Render PC, welcome to the Cinecom team. Janik wants to pee. The bathroom is just behind this wall. <laughs>